This is Parashat, Parashat Vayeshev. Very interesting, Parashat Vayeshev talks about children. So far, we were talking about Abraham. He had to fight the Nimrod. He had enemies to fight the Itzah, Abimelech. He had enemies to fight the Yaakov, Esau, and Laban. Now, we're going to talk about 12 Shabbatim. 12 Shabbatim are born, and they are interacting with each other. Now, who is the enemy? Well, I think that's beautiful. Well, no, but we are talking about children of Bahari Sayed. What's the name of Bahari Sayed? Now, Torah says, Torah says, Vayiru Echav, Chiputu Allah, Vayiru Mikol Echav. The brother is taught, the pastor of Dalit, the brother is taught that Yahweh loves Yosef more. Vayiru Echav, they hated him. First enemy among the children of Bahari Sayed, hate him. Because we see one is different, and we hate him. And we couldn't speak to them with peace. And Yosef had Halomot dream. And he would come and tell them, send no auto. Also, him, send no auto. They hated him. Hey, Shimuna Kalama said, This is my Kalu. Malim Alumi, we were bundling the two Hasadi in the midfield. We did come Alumati, my bundle rise up and, and stood up. And they said, We're not him. And your bundles were surrounding my bond, but Shakabra Almati, and, and they, they bowed down to my bond. You gotta be a king over us. King is somebody that we choose. Oh, are we going to choose you? In Marshall, Tim Shobanu, Marshall Michelle means somebody by force. But <laughs> we are much stronger than you. You're gonna do it to us. But I say, what Seno Otu? The adage hated. Three times hatred. Then Al-Khadam Rock, I follow the Khanok, I sacred the Khab, another Khalom is so. And now all we see is the Khalom of Shemish for your ass. Sun and moon and Echad Asar Kukhabi and 11 stars are bowing down to him. I serve a Rabbi with a cup, I get a Bobby, and the beauty of Bibi, and the middle of Baha. What is Hello? I'm coming. I can't know what the Hello. Unbelievable. Hatred turns truth just so far. We were talking about the brothers hating, hate yourself. All of a sudden, here, Torah said, like, then we go a foul. The brothers were jealous of him. What happened? And I want to ask you a question. If you have jealousy and hatred, which one comes first? What do you think? Of course, jealousy comes first. They are jealous because it's better than you. They are jealous because that's something to offer better, it's more appealing, more attraction. And that jealousy tends to sin. Here, Torah tells us we start with sin, hatred, and then go to jealousy. What's the problem? How do you tell us unbelievable point? See, what's the difference between the first dream and second dream? First dream made hatred, second dream made jealousy. What's the difference between them? Now, how do you tell us why the brothers thought like The brothers were shifting, they were sadiqi. Of this, I love you, Torah. If somebody comes to kill you, you are allowed to kill him. They understood that whatever that Yosef is telling the father, the father made him ketonet pasim. Ketonet pasim means the tonic of fine wool. They represented that as a Jewish clothing. In other words, Yosef is a Jew and we are a Lord. He is abandoning us from being a Jew. No, halacha is, if somebody wants to kill you, you are allowed to kill him. Don't let him kill you. It was a very hard decision for them to make. But that shows how great they were. They were careless. Like Esau came and he sold his pekora and for, a, for, a, uh, for, for just a soup. And after eating and filling up his stomach, he disgraced. Here, children of Yaakov, they understand what does it mean to be a Jew? What does it mean to have everlasting? How does it, what does it mean to be connected to Torah, to mitzvot? To have Torah, to have mitzvot? They wanted that to have. And they felt the Torah passing. And that's why Hazor said, don't distinguish between the children. Discrimination is not good. What do you mean is not good? One father told me that I want to send one child to class, music class. I have to send everybody. I want to make a drawing class for some of them. Oh, no. discrimination means when you expose somebody, one child. No, you could say that I do homework. I'm ready. 
One child takes five minutes to do it. One child half an hour. You don't have to burden that one that has five minutes for half an hour. If he doesn't like music, you don't burden him with music because the other one likes. No, we're gonna do we're gonna do entertainment for each person according to who whether that he likes. You are available for each person according. To. But here the discrimination is ketone passive. What was wrong with ketone passive? You are excluding other brothers. You are saying you do something for you and you're not for others. This is the problem. Just the opposite. You have to deal with every child according to his power, according to his talent. We're going to do the same accordingly. But here, Ketone Basi was exclusion. Now, in the first dream, he saw, he told the brothers that you bow down to me. That means to say, oh, that was Joseph's thinking. Joseph is thinking that he's a Jew and you are a God. No. Why Yosef is saying this dream is very interesting. Why? Now we're going to see why. Because the second dream, what is he said? What's the difference between the first dream and second dream? Second dream is just 11 stars and sun and moon. Even sun and moon falling down. And Torah says, we are being at over. Rashi says, what does it mean that his father, even though the rebuke him, is for the brothers? But he watched he, his brother retain the mother. Rashi says, what does it mean? Rashi. He was waiting and waiting. Metsape, Where do we use such a notion for Mashiach? Yosef is saying, we're going to be days of trouble. And in days of trouble, we need the Mashiach to come. And the Mashiach will come and Hashem will save you. That is Mashiach ben Yosef, Mashiach. If the dream were that don't worry, there is a food, there is a time of hunger and famine, but there is a food. Therefore, he was relieving to them, it was relating to them that what happens in the future, don't worry. Hakodesh Baruch is with us. Very interesting. Hanukkah is coming up, and Hazor Kabbalah says, Yosef is a shamash. What does shamash do? He was like to others. Yosef was not much nullifying himself to be somebody to serve the brothers. And that was in the Nebuah that they had to tell them, to tell them, don't worry, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with us, he takes care of us. We are with Shammar and Dabba. No. By the second dream, they saw even the father and mother are bowing down. They were, can't be that they are good. Can't be that they are good. They were, that's not the exclusion. It's the point that Joseph is saying to save us. At that time, they understood. Once you understand that, the sinner should go away because it's not the brother. But unfortunately, sinner went away because it's not the brother anymore. They understood if the father and mother is bowing down, it's not because they are going, because they are exclusion. He's saying the man is up. But unfortunately, jealousy kicked in. Jealousy didn't let them see the truth. He started with hatred, justified. And that is what's happened by the high story. Always you start with something justified with your brother, with your sister, with your aunt, so he said something, okay, he did something, okay. But then that leads to jealousy. That leads to the and, and Torah is telling us the enemy that we have among the children is, is hatred and jealousy. And Torah is telling us. It starts with something that's real. It's reason to, but nevertheless, we have to understand our unity is worth more. Nevertheless, we have to understand we have to be about these things, not not to give in and not to be not to be involved with this and to disgrace ourselves and to you know to lose our own values and unity and being together. And like, like, like Yaakov, who is waiting for the day to come to glorify God the to be with Hashem, only our unity could, could be the Hashem. And we, if, we, if we are not unified together, we lose God the Shvaruch, it's not working. Therefore, no matter what you start up with, it's not working. That's why it's so I say it's not synonymous. You know, you know, means the sin of the hatred, that's not worthless. You know, it's without any, without any worth. There's no worth into it. Because what you could gain through unifying yourself 
and, and making acto together and making shalom is much, much greater than making makrofet and separation. Therefore, whenever whoever that works hard to make shalom, he, he gains more. And this is the point that the parasha is revealing to us.